look at this ba boom bada bing look at the grotesque wall of flesh uh we got the warrior my bad i didn't mean to keep it on the national slider but look hey yo everyone welcome back to another terraria video today we're back here on the forums looking at texture packs and you guys really enjoyed the last one i really enjoyed the last one because now i got a couple of texture pack additions in my vanilla terraria experience and i kind of want to add some more so that's why we're doing another video but i'm here just on the regular home page of when you open up the release section i haven't touched anything and uh, let's just check out a couple things that are here on the home page so let's start with this calamity theme xenon sprites and if you guys love calamity i know a lot of people love calamity boom look at this we got the zenith sprites for different type of stronger calamity weapons these look very good i think my favorite one is probably this one the uh Vower of gods theme one looks the coolest if i were really to love calamity that much i would download this but you know i like the zenith how it looks now next up we have summoner to pokemon trainer so this turns all the summons into pokemon which is pretty funny i'm, I'm guessing pidgey here is is the finch mimic use a slime is this the hornet is charizard the hornet i i don't know they're like they might be skipping a couple of gaps here obviously not all progression but we know for sure rayquaza is the stardust dragon but boom if you love pokemon this is a really good addition i like this so the next one we have here is scaled eater of worlds and it says that they wanted to make the shadow scales kind of more incorporated in his look and honestly i can get down with it it's kind of weird how he drops purple scales but him himself is not actually you know colored purple this might be a little too dark i kind of like the the middle one boom right there if you saw it that like split second but honestly it fits in a lot more this one is dope as hell kobold invasion replaces the goblin army and tinker with dnd diminutive lizard people kobolds they're very cool if you guys remember the race video i just did recently that they had a kobold race in that and look at this i honestly might download this just to have different sprites to look at because these things are sick the sprider did a great job kobolds are cool creatures and it's nice to have have a change up every now and then when you're playing terraria so this one is gonna be my first download okay i don't know if i've seen this one in the first video or not but this one's called slimes resprite and as you can see it gives the slimes some booty cheeks yes sir look at the beast here there's some thickness in this okay we got one here called the t34 sand tank mount and as you can see that shit legit is a tank and the dude right on top he's ready he's ready for a war all right here's a very interesting one alternate nurse texture pack no skirt and look at that it's the nurse wearing just panties <laughs> next up we have the wall of guide here look at that it's the wall of flesh legit turned into a bunch of guides very very interesting so i looked at a bunch of these here and most of them we've honestly gone over we've seen already uh some of them are new but i think it's time that we ventured in to not the release section but into the work in progress section because this area should have a bunch of stuff right off the bat here we have fishing plus it says this texture pack changes fishing fishing poles armor emotes potions accessories items pets npcs and let's see everything they changed here starting with the fishing poles they even changed the bobbers on the fishing poles nice details and all of these they look great the potions even got a little change here nice armor change the angler armor okay that honestly looks way better the emotes even change another good detail change the angler is an old ass man now the sharks are customizable you could choose between between these two they look cool seahorses too also customizable the crabs are actually red dolphins they can be pink uh, it says disabled though. i don't know why you can change the sea turtles accessories you can change up so there's a lot of customizable things in this texture pack and i think that's one of the things that makes terraria texture pack so dope is because you can mix and match unlike minecraft ones where you kind of have to go into the files yourself and mix and match your favorite stuff so we can see here the shark pup is also changeable too which honestly is probably better because the current shark pup is kind of ugly and there is some more stuff we got decorations junks the junks look better so it's pretty dope this is honestly a great texture pack i don't know how much it's a work in progress that's the thing with like release texture packs and work in progress ones like this is kind of finished because all they had to do was do the sprites so it's pretty much finished but i'm assuming they're adding more which is why it's in the work in progress section all right let's check out some other ones here sunday at 4 33 p.m the i'm speed texture pack let's go ahead let's see what this is <laughs> nice if you are a fan of very very poorly sprited sonic boom bada bing do i got something for you all right
right next up if you know my channel you know we've done a bunch of stuff with terraria minecraft and mixing them together and my boy right here melster melster has a terraria minecraft edition texture pack i might have to check this out right away might have to hit him up see if i can get an early copy but let's peep it here boom look at this we got the minecraft trees the dirt and everything look at that the inventory's got the minecraft theme the tools you got a beacon in his inventory the uh, sprites over here are also minecraft we got the desert we got the jungle the corruption the crimson snow biome we even got stuff from the minecraft telltale game in here so very very cool i'll just i'll just scroll through a couple more things so you guys can see them but very very cool kind of been waiting for a texture pack like this oh look at the bosses hell yeah i love that the bosses are all square shape the queen bee that one looks amazing but this is dope this is, this is really dope might have to check this out soon in a full video all right so this is the last one i found a work in progress there honestly wasn't that many surprisingly and it is called critters to pokemon and more so this just replaces a bunch of critters as we can see grookey replaces the bunnies in the desert tiger staff that's actually pretty dope we got a bunch of the ev evolutions here changing all the uh squirrels i believe you know since there is a bunch of squirrels now because there's amethyst topaz and emerald ones we have an articuno armor uh, we have a hot dog sword that replaces the breaker blade see this was before uh, glizzy was a thing and then we also have hot wife and pizza javelins this replaces the hoplite and the javelins they throw made for chaos shout out chaos next up here we got my boy dan sprite texture replacements now this just looking at this picture alone is already dope and uh, as you can see there's a bunch of different changes here so let's get into them starting with the re mastered wall of flesh grotesque but faithful and as we can see the wall of flesh a little bit uglier but like ugly in a good way because the ugliness i kind of fits the wall of flesh next up we got the remastered molten armor become a true conqueror of the underworld as we can see this little picture right here get a couple different options to choose and they all look great next up we got the tiny slime princess as master mode slime pet and uh, as we can see here's all the options and stuff there it's always nice when spiders give you options to choose from so we got closed face hard mode helmets and closed face pre hard mode helmets honestly most of the time i don't want to see my character's face so having closed face helmets is honestly really dope and a lot of the armor sets look a lot cooler with the face closed off same thing with the uh, pre hard mode sets my favorite one is probably the beekeeper set or the uh, hornet set because look at that it kind of looked like a beekeeper and then we got a couple of extra things here alternate shark like baby shark red devil is imp minion vampire bat as sanguine bat minion this one i like mini dread nautilus as sanguine bat that's dope as hell that one might be a for sure pickup and then you get a sword and pickaxe cursor which is honestly pretty damn dope especially when you use the smart cursor and you use it as a pickaxe like these, these are some good ones there's a couple more pictures here if you want to see these oh man these are really really dope especially the dread nautilus one it even changes the staff that's fire that's fire you know if the master most summoner series ever does return aka if i ever feel like playing it again well shit we might see some different sprites in there all right next up we have the prime texture pack prime aims to keep vanilla's feels while looking much better so far we have 700 textures done making us the second most complete original texture pack for terraria obviously made for 1.4 given the date so let's check it out so off the bat you may not notice a lot but then you look closer and everything just looks nice and touched up specifically the dirt and the grass i always thought dirt in terraria looks ugly as hell and with texture packs it definitely makes it look better here is the desert the desert is a really great example this texture pack is dope i messed with this one heavy and as we can see while we scroll down you can see all the uh, slight changes here and there and honestly it's a very refined texture pack nice touch even the eyes touched up the eater skeletron all the bosses are touched up it looks great so i don't know maybe in the future you'll see me using texture packs i can definitely see that being a thing just me using big texture packs like this in the future while doing regular videos all right we have a dope one coming up made by derpo the magnificent if you guys don't know derpo talented sprider and it is the clockwork mechs look at these things these things are fucking insane the twins you know they look normal but then they turn into the clockwork counter part after you get them to their certain amount of health you need to get them to and skeletron looks dope destroyer looks dope i love it i'm pretty sure i'll use this in the future this one is a very nice and simple one cultist pet replaces the baby imp texture if you ever wanted a little cultist as a pet well there you go look at him he flies on a little moon lord skull tentacle face whatever the hell we got another really cool little one here richter belmont replacing obsidian armor so when you put on obsidian armor boom you look like the boy richter from castlevania you get the 
whip and you got you got the whole castlevania vibe going on another cool little one here super guide machine gun perfect <laughs> We got one here called PD Plantero, which turns Plantera into PD Piranha. We have another small but goodie, the last Dorito, which turns the last prism into the last Dorito. We have the googly eye pack, which adds in a bunch of googly eyes to bosses. And uh, let's go ahead and see him here. Nice. And then we got the queen bee. Very, very nice. We have a texture pack that turns the honey in the beehives to milk. This one is called Moon Lord Set Texture. For this, you're going to need Moon Lord's Mask, Iron Chain Mail, and Din's Curse. So I'm assuming it resprites the Iron Chain Mail and Din's Curse. Boom, you get the fit. I guess fuck the Moon Lord's legs. This texture pack adds in 24 karat golden guns. And as you can see, we got the musket, the flamethrower, mini shark, mega shark, boom. Stick, sniper rifle, SMDG, celebration mark two, and the vortex beater. All 24 karat gold. You'll be iced up when you're playing a ranger now. Don't forget about the gold onyx blaster, of course. Here we are. We're in game. We got a couple of texture packs here. Some of them from the previous video that I kept because I like them. I'll probably be doing the same this video. So I guess let's start with the clothes face mask, uh, the clockwork mechs, and then I guess yeah, the kobolds. Start with those ones and then we'll throw the sword and pick cursor in there you know what let's pretty much throw damn near everything in here because i think most of the stuff won't override each other i think fishing plus might be the only thing that might override something so i'm not gonna add it but there you go all right so we have the armors here and i don't know if they changed the face mask directly because as you can see a bunch of these are open is it when i put them on yeah it is when you put them on okay that's kind of interesting i kind of hope in the future that the masks themselves in the creative menu and all the stuff in your inventory that they they actually show that the master closed in that too but let's take a look at a couple of them here we got the palladium what is this the range palladium set not too bad let's go ahead let's try the b set because this is the one that i did like from the pre-hard mode ones nice look like a beekeeper let me just go ahead and try a random pre-hard mode set here let's do platinum we don't have to put on the whole set we can just see the helmet but yeah these look dope we pretty much saw all of them when we were looking at the texture pack pictures it adds mass to all the helmets so you you can barely see your ugly character's face oh you can kind of see it there and they look cool damn some of these like really really look cool all right next up the goblin invasion so as we can see the goblin battle standard looks different and also if you want to if you're looking at my cursor we got the sword cursor boom you switch to smart cursor it's a pickaxe very nice but yeah let's go ahead let's see this in action here all right i finally got the goblins to summon in here in a different world my bad kobolds is summon in here in a different world uh, i also got to remember that i'm not playing on a journey one character now but as we can see we got all the kobolds we got the thieves we got the archers the summoner of course we got a sorcerer over here so summoner and the sorcerers they're wearing skulls on their head uh we got the warrior which bounces on a slime that's actually pretty funny and there's one more we haven't seen it's the peon right i don't know where the peon is they're, they're shy right now but other than that these dudes they look cool they look cool as hell you can see here we got a couple of, of kobold banners too and they're also different and if we go over here try and find the uh, actual goblin i don't actually know where the actual goblin is oh there he is as you can see he's different are back in the goblin tinkerer but he's not a goblin he's a kobold yeah there's that let's go ahead let's check out the next thing all right so let's go ahead and check out the mechs now as we can see the mechanical skull and mechanical worm they look different the mechanical eye looks the same i don't know why well, let's start with the twins i guess and uh, get them into their second phase here i don't want to kill them on accident but they are taking some shots so this might take a while i think it's because i have it on master mode my bad didn't mean to keep it on master mode slider but look spasmatism turns into his clockwork form very very cool let me see if i can also get red nazer to turn into their mechanical form too yes sir can you get a little bit closer smile for the camera you can see it they're kind of spitting on each other lighting up each other next up let's go ahead and let's see skeletron prime here and as you can see it's got the clockwork vibes now this reminds me of the boss from uh, tremor what the hell was his name the cog lord because that's pretty much what the cog lord was i'll put a picture up on the screen probably but a uh, cog lord was like straight up a clockwork skeletron and he looked cool he looked cool i can't lie yeah this one also looks very very dope 
like I said, I might be using some of these in the future. This one I'll probably keep because the clockwork bosses, they do look very dope. And last but not least, let's go ahead and check out the destroyer. So we got the little gold clockwork, whatever you want to call it, brass, I guess it would be. It'd be brass, right? The little brass accents. Now, are the probes different? That's my question. Are the probes different? I got to be careful because I'm like instantly killing the probes. The probes are different. Okay, nice detail. All right, let's go ahead and check out the remaining things here. We're going to start with the sanguine staff aka the nautilus staff now so let us see what this looks like boom it's got the little animation when you you know swing it to summon things in and let me go ahead and get a summoner set where i can summon a bunch of things maybe take off the pants take off the helmet so we don't have the uh guardian behind us but look at this yes sir honestly this is way cooler than the bats like, come on, you kill the Nautilus and you get bats. Like, what? You should kill the Nautilus and get Nautil more Nautili. Is that what they're called? You would say Nautili? So let's summon in a boss here, King Slime. Easiest one to summon in right now. And let's see them go to work. Oh, yes. Look at them. They're, they're going around. They're honestly moving like a Nautilus would. They're kind of like going backwards, which is really dope. I don't know if the they're supposed to do that but nice detail if that's the case all right so let's check out some fishing stuff here too because we do have fishing plus enabled now and if we just type in fishing boom we see a bunch of stuff we see the golden fishing rod is now a diamond one the hotline fishing hook this looks like a marble themed one sitting duck i honestly can't tell what the hell that is we got the angler fit let me go ahead and try this on nice honestly it looks way better i, I feel like this current angler set is kind of whack but as you can see a bunch of this stuff it looks a lot better uh even the just wooden fishing pole looks a lot better and honestly this might be a good texture pack to just keep all right let us finish off this video here by summoning in the uh, wall of flesh but the nastier version let's see it okay there's no guide in this world that okay <laughs> all right finally got a world character set up so i can fight the wall of flesh i don't know why it took so long uh the criteria was hard to fill i guess and also, uh, you know, Journey's mode sucks ass. It's not an actual creative mode, so I can't just spawn things in. But boom, bada, bing. Look at the grotesque wall of flesh. Beautiful. It's disgusting, but beautiful. Look at the mouse. The little tiny mouse move. That's a nice detail right there. All right, but yeah, that was all the texture packs that I wanted to check out, the ones that stood out the most to me in game. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully more texture packs are made in the future, but you will definitely find me using texture packs and stuff throughout even the ones that I didn't show in this video. I'll probably just throw on texture packs in future 1.4 videos. But yeah, thank you everyone for watching. I'll see you next time.